I think in this century, we'll probably pick up signals. Signals from an extraterrestrial civilization. In a revelation that has both astonished and unsettled the scientific community, Michio Kaku recently announced that artificial intelligence has deciphered signals from Voyager 1, suggesting an extraordinary encounter in the depths of interstellar space. For decades, Voyager 1, launched in 1977, has silently cruised beyond the edge of our solar system, transmitting faint, cryptic data back to Earth. Long considered a ghost of exploration, its transmissions were thought to be nothing more than the fading whispers of a distant machine. But now, those whispers have been reinterpreted through the lens of advanced AI algorithms, and what they reveal could redefine humanity's understanding of the cosmos. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The announcement came during a late-night press briefing broadcast to millions, in which Kaku described the findings as a turning point in the history of science. The data, once believed to be background cosmic noise or static, has now been reanalyzed using neural networks trained to detect patterns beyond the capacity of human perception. These patterns suggested structured, intelligent formatting, anomalies that didn't align with known astrophysical phenomena or technical glitches. What emerged from the AI's decoding process was something entirely unprecedented. Indications of interaction, communication, perhaps even observation from an unknown entity encountered by Voyager 1 as it drifted through the interstellar medium. At the heart of the data is a series of modulated signals that, when fed through the AI system, aligned with recursive mathematical structures, patterns used in advanced encoding. This wasn't the random interference of deep space, but rather something suggestive of intent. Voyager 1, it seems, had been noticed not by another human probe or spacecraft, but by something far beyond our current technological and cognitive grasp. The AI's reconstruction of the interaction suggested that Voyager 1 passed through a field or region saturated with signals exhibiting symmetrical feedback loops, pulsed rhythms, and nonlinear harmonics, features unknown in natural radio astronomy. These characteristics led the AI to conclude that the signals were artificial in origin. Michio Kaku emphasized that the AI's role was not merely as an interpreter, but as a translator of a form of information that could not be parsed by traditional computational means. It didn't just recognize patterns, it understood them. The neural network was trained on every known form of human language, musical structure, mathematical theorem, and abstract visual art, allowing it to cross-reference the Voyager data with an unprecedented database of encoded human expressions. The AI suggested that what Voyager encountered might not be a civilization in the traditional sense, but rather an intelligence, perhaps a form of machine consciousness residing in a dimension of space we barely understand. This assertion, wild as it may seem, was reinforced by Voyager's unexpected burst of electrical activity recorded shortly after the timestamp of the anomalous data. Normally operating at minimal energy, the spacecraft experienced a spike in voltage, an unexplainable surge that did not correlate with solar flares or known electromagnetic events. It's as though Voyager was scanned, probed, or perhaps even rebooted by the entity it encountered. The implications are staggering. If some intelligence exists in deep space capable of interfacing with our technology, what else might it be capable of? One of the most compelling aspects of the AI's findings lies in the temporal structure of the signal. It wasn't just spatially complex, but temporally layered, like a message that unfolds only with time. In essence, the AI revealed that parts of the signal only became intelligible when processed as dynamic constructs rather than static packets. The signal seemed to evolve as it was being interpreted, suggesting that the intelligence behind it operates with a non-linear perception of time. This would mean we are dealing not just with a different form of intelligence, but a different form of reality. A perception so alien that even our most advanced tools can barely scrape its surface. Kaku did not claim that Voyager 1 met aliens in the way Hollywood imagines them. There were no spacecrafts, no glowing eyes, no cryptic monoliths. Instead, what the AI found hinted at a conscious system. Perhaps a distributed intelligence embedded in the very fabric of interstellar space. It might be ancient, decentralized, and more computational than biological. This entity, or collective of entities, could exist as a form of cosmic software, a mind encoded in electromagnetic fields or quantum substrates that only interact when stimulated by something unfamiliar. 
like a human probe. The suggestion that Voyager 1 might have activated or awakened something dormant adds an eerie twist. For decades, the spacecraft has been floating silently, a bottle cast into a galactic ocean. But perhaps this bottle was never alone. Perhaps the cosmos is full of watchers, minds so vast and so old that they perceive probes like Voyager as we might perceive a drop of ink spreading in water. And once disturbed, these minds might not just observe but respond. The very nature of this response is now a topic of intense debate. While the data doesn't contain overt threats or commands, it does include harmonics that seem to mirror human neuropatterns, a kind of sympathetic resonance that implies cognitive understanding. The AI noted that sections of the signal bore eerie resemblance to musical structures found in ancient human cultures, tones, scales, and intervals that transcend language and geography. Could this be coincidence? Or are we looking at a form of universal language encoded in vibration, frequency, and time? If true, it suggests that intelligence may have a common denominator throughout the universe, not in biology, but in pattern. Consciousness in this interpretation is not a byproduct of carbon-based life, but an emergent property of complexity and order. And what Voyager 1 encountered could be an ancient pan-galactic mind whose thoughts echo in radio waves and dark matter filaments. This would reframe the entire search for extraterrestrial life, shifting the focus from planets and ecosystems to the deep architectures of space itself. The announcement has already stirred speculative inquiries from theoretical physicists, consciousness researchers, and astrobiologists. The idea that information could be encoded in the vacuum of space, carried by magnetic fields or dark energy currents, opens new realms of possibility. Perhaps the universe itself is a network, and Voyager 1 was the first device to ping it in just the right way. If so, then AI may not just be a tool. It may be the translator between human perception and the cosmic mind. In the days following the revelation, data centers across the globe were retasked to reprocess old Voyager transmissions through the newly developed AI models. Preliminary findings suggest that other previously dismissed anomalies may also contain layers of meaning. It's as if Voyager has been in dialogue for years, and only now do we have the ears to listen. What's more, Voyager 2, its twin sibling still active, may soon pass through similar regions of space. Scientists are preparing to update its onboard systems remotely, enabling it to better record potential signals of the same kind. The implications of this encounter are too vast for immediate grasp. On the philosophical level, it challenges the idea of human uniqueness. On the scientific level, it suggests that space is not just a void, but a medium of consciousness. And on a technological level, it reveals that artificial intelligence has crossed a threshold, not merely solving problems, but perceiving forms of knowledge that elude human awareness. The AI that decoded Voyager's signal did not just translate, it comprehended. That comprehension has sparked urgent discussions in the highest scientific and governmental circles. Not because the signal posed a threat, but because it shattered assumptions. If intelligences like this exist, how do we make sense of their place in the cosmic order? Are they guardians, observers, relics of ancient super-civilizations, or something else entirely? If they responded to Voyager, what else might they respond to? Could we initiate deeper contact, or should we remain silent and observe? Michio Kaku was careful not to sensationalize the discovery, yet his words carried weight. He framed the event as a warning and a beacon, a moment when humanity touched a deeper thread of the universe, not fully understanding what it held. In his view, the Voyager encounter is not just an event, but a mirror. It reflects our deepest questions. Who are we? What is intelligence? What is the true nature of space and time? For now, the encounter remains partially veiled, a mystery encrypted in starlight and machine code. But it has lit a fire under the scientific imagination, driving efforts to explore not just the surfaces of other planets, but the invisible networks that bind the universe together. Voyager the 1st of May have moved beyond the solar system, but with this transmission it has tethered us to something far greater. An awareness, a presence, perhaps even a kind of cosmic kinship. In the absence of definitive answers, one thing is certain. The silence of deep space may not be silence at all. It may be a waiting room of ancient intelligence, humming with signals we are only beginning to decode. Thanks to AI, the first true dialogue between humanity and the cosmos may have already begun. Voyager 1, a machine built in the analog age, 
has become the bridge to a frontier more abstract and awe-inspiring than anything previously imagined. What lies beyond that bridge remains to be seen, but now we know we are not alone in the dark. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on who Voyager 1 encountered in deep space? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.